and welcome to another video from the farm. Today we're finally starting to plug together our 20 kilowatt off grid system. So we're still waiting for a few bits of equipment to arrive so the first job we're going to do is we're just going to wire this generator straight into a fuse board in here which is going to be our main distribution panel to provide power to the rest of the farm. So the first stage on wiring this up is pretty simple. You've got your positive and negative there which provides all the power from this alternator here. So as we're dealing with quite a lot of power coming out of this generator and out of our solar panels as well, I decided to get the professionals in to come and do this for me. It's also going to be better for the purposes of our warranties and whatnot if it's done by a professional. So you get it signed off by the proper installers and then yeah, all your warranties are definitely covered. So when we get to wiring up the fuse board to the inverter and the batteries in the power shed here, there's a lot of complicated technology that goes into the charge controllers and inverters and the batteries these days so again much better professional who knows what they're doing with the system comes and installs it all correctly and then make sure that all the programming is set to the right parameters and whatnot it'll save me hours and hours and hours of stress trying to work out how to do it as well as yeah I know it's done right then so let's meet the guys so we've got Rob here he's just mounting the fuse box on the wall this is Simon, he's starting to plug together the solar array. And he's the owner of the business that I'm using to install this stuff for me. If you'd like to have a little look at his website, I'll put it in the description below. So the first step, we've got to fix these from when I took the ends off so I could plug it to an immersion heater. I've got to put some extra connectors back on here. So we have one of the arrays plugged in and we've got 512 volts coming in. We've just knocked in these ground rods. This one needs to go in a little bit further, but it's almost there. We've got one for the distribution board and one for the generator. So we've got the generator wired into the ground over there. And we've also got another cable running into here through the floor. So it pops up this, we've got the ground and then we've got the main power cable coming in into our little fuse box here now we've only got a few breakers in at the minute and we've only got a cable that can do about sort of 20 amps on not the full capacity of the generator whilst we're waiting for the batteries and stuff to come got a couple of plugs wired in though and a little light there so we're sort of set up we just need to plug in the batteries and inverters next but we've got power to get going with anyway so the guys are back out today, we've got the inverter there and we've got the batteries in, they're just plugging these together now. So we've got the solar inverter mounted, we've got the control box mountings on the wall and we've got the Victron inverter mounted. Now we're just starting to wire in the generator properly and it's going to run into an external plug here that's going to go straight to the fuse board. So if the solar system ever goes down, if this generator ever goes down, can just get one in, whip that plug out and plug the new generator straight in and then we'll have power within hours hopefully. But fingers crossed, this system lasts for years with no problems. So we've got the batteries unboxed, as you can see, each one's rated at 25, so you plug the two together which gives you a 48 volt system. Now we've gone for a slightly different battery than I anticipated before, so combined these are going to be 14 kilowatts. And then we've got another one of these coming in about four months or so. We've had to back order them as, believe it or not, the batteries constantly change and the company that makes these, BYD, are constantly improving their systems. So because of that, they have taken the original batteries we were going to get out of production, which means that we couldn't actually get hold of any in the UK because the shipment that was due to arrive to the supplier got cancelled by BYD themselves. And instead, we've got given these ones, which are a bit cheaper because it's less watts than we anticipated. But overall, it's going to be slightly more expensive per watt by the time we get the actual second bank of these in. And here we have the batteries wired in. We've got those also connected to the inverter. Now, in here, we've got some 300 amp fuses to protect the batteries. And then we've gone and got the disconnect from the solar plugged in. And we've got the disconnector from the generator plugged in here. Now, as you can see, the solar is ready to rock and roll. We just need wiring into the actual inverter now with it. 
So we're pretty much there. We just need to wire up the AC to the distribution board here and then we can start programming this bad boy. Now I'm fairly confident that I could have got this SMA inverter all wired in with the solar panels properly with the disconnect and whatnot and then got it wired into here. And the same with the batteries really. They're all pretty much plug and play with where you've got to put the leads and whatnot. But the most complicated bit comes with the actual layout we've got here. Now this is why I, why I wanted the professional help because obviously they've got everything in the right places, get it all in the right order, installed in the right order. And then also they came up with this little configuration here. So this plug goes directly into the fuse board for the generator. And then this is gonna be connected to the inverter. So basically we're gonna have the generator, this plug going, take this one out, replacing that one with this one. And then this plug will then be looped round into the mains board here. So in effect, this power cable here will be what's providing the main board with all our power in the future. And it also then, as I mentioned before, gives us the redundancy option. If everything packs up, whip these out, get a spare generator delivered, plug it straight in here, and then we've got power again. So triple redundancies, can't beat that. So as I said, not much left to wire up in this. We've got a wire in the control panel, and then put in a few more breakers. But other than that, the boys are pretty much ready to rock and roll and start programming this all together. Now, this is the main reason why I got people in to do this bit for me, is because it's complex if you don't know what you're doing, to get this to talk to this, and this to talk to this, and vice versa, get this to then talk to my generator outside, and then also be able to auto-start the generator. Now, I probably could have worked all this out, but it would have taken me a lot longer than these guys, as, yeah, they know exactly what they're doing, so it's sort of pretty much plug and play for them and makes my life a hell of a lot easier and less stressful because they're sorting it all out. Okay then, I'll leave them to it now and we'll come back when Simon's doing a bit of programming and we'll show you roughly what it's about. Okay then, everything's plugged in, wired in and pretty much all the programming's done too. So we've got 700 watts of solar coming in from this bad boy and then this represents the generator and we've just got one more little thing to add on in this corner which is going to represent this. We just can't quite get it all plugged in yet because the Sunny Boy website is down for us to, up, for, to download the update so yeah, we're stuck with it like this at the minute but you can quite clearly see we've got power coming in, the batteries are charging and yeah, inverter's on and we can just switch the plug on over here. And in a second, we should see this kick into AC out. There we go. There we go. Happy days. As you can see now, we're drawing off the batteries. No longer going in. But we're up and running. Off-grid solar complete. So now we've got this all wired in and the control point here is wired in. We can basically adjust everything from here. We can see all the different parts of the system yeah it's gonna work out nicely just with this little color control box to monitor everything and then adjust things as we get as we go all right then I think we'll end this part three in the series here so if you've been enjoying watching please make sure to give the video a like and if you're not a subscriber already don't forget to do so help support the channel all right then until next time bye bye